Good afternoon. My name is Nitin Dahad, I'm the European correspondent for EE Times, and I'm here at the Things Conference with Alex Glow, who's the hardware nerd at Hackster.io. Alex, Indeed. tell me a little bit about yourself. Hello, hello. Uh, well, I have come over from San Francisco, where I work at Hackster.io. You said hard hardware nerd, which is my technical title. Uh, but it basically means that I'm sort of the dancing monkey out front of the company. I do our video channel. And also, so basically it involves a lot of interviewing people about their hardware technology, going to events, unboxing new technology, and telling people what it is for our community of hardware developers. And what, what uh, will hardware developers get out of being involved in this network? Ooh, all kinds of stuff. So I think it's really win-win-win, basically. People can share their own projects. Basically, it's a really good system where you can easily find code schematics, builds of materials, CAD files, etc., from other people's projects. And the editor for publishing your own projects really makes that easy for you to include everything. And I understand you've come over especially for this conference from all the way from SOMA in San Francisco. So <laughs> what, brought, what brought you here? What's, what's the network here that enables you to do a little bit more than what you're already doing? Yeah, so... The way that companies get involved is by running contests and things, which is obviously benefits them as well as our community. People get free hardware, they get their, pro uh, their projects rewarded, and companies get to collect and advertise and celebrate a bunch of new use cases for their technology that really showcases what people can do with it. Because a lot of the time, you have companies coming out and being like, you can build anything with it, and people are like, yeah. paralysis. Yeah. It's too much. So yeah. um, specifically, then, you're looking to build the network for, with people from, from this no audience. Is that right? Exactly. I okay. just gave a talk about how companies can use it. But also, it's really useful, obviously, for people at every stage of the process. So since there's, since there's a lot of workshops going on here, and I want to attend some of those as well, um, it seems like there's a really spread community. There's people from the beginner end of the spectrum who are just getting started with LoRa, even though they probably have some hardware and software technical experience. And then there's also representatives from companies. So I'm going to be going and checking out the microchip booth. I'm going to be talking to people from ARM, who are our great friends, um, as well as Mac from Bear Conductive, and really reconnecting with a lot of these companies that are more European-based and I don't get to see a lot. Okay. And what excites you most uh, from what you've seen here today or what you want to see? Well... Personally, I'm really excited about space technology. Space. So, yeah. Okay. Space. Like Lacuna. So, exactly. Uh, companies like Lacuna are doing everything to do with communication satellites and how long-range radio and low-power radio can make that more accessible for people who aren't huge corporations is really exciting, as well as what it can do for people who are not trying to start their own company but just communicate with things uh, long-range. And uh, the announcement that Lacuna made this morning, does that help your, your excitement in terms of being able to play with that network? Unfortunately, I have spent the morning preparing for my talk, so I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. But uh, that's what I plan to spend the rest of the two days doing. Yes, they've op opened up the satellite uh, network for three months for you to go and play on, on uh, using LoRa. I love how you describe that, go and play. Okay, <laughs> well, that's what he said. So good. Um, well, uh, any, anything else you'd like our audience to hear from you in terms of the, the one big takeaway from Hackster.io? Mm. Come and Don't play. Come and play, exactly, exactly. That's basically the whole ethos, is share whatever you're working on, and we want to celebrate that as well. That's basically my job, is I get to, to share what people are doing uh, with technology, and I want to interview people who are doing cool stuff with Laura. I want to interview companies who are building things to make it more accessible and to provide examples for how it can really change how we build and approach technology. So just one last question before we do go. Um, so you're based in the US. Uh, how are you seeing the LoRa uh, community uh, over there, uh, especially around Silicon Valley where you're based, but also uh, wide, wider? Is it as strong as what you're seeing here, here today? It's definitely not as widespread as it is in Europe right now. For example, support for Sigfox, support for LoRaWAN, the, the, you kind of have to set up your own gateway a lot of the time. And I've been to conferences where they did do that. Yeah. And I got to like send a little message ping back and forth between uh, you know, the, the network and my own computer, which is really cool. But it's definitely not as broadly adopted. So that's going to be one of the really exciting things about being here okay. specifically to play around with that. Take that enthusiasm back <laughs> for a change. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs>